हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल सी अ प्रोग्राम हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ डेसिमल नंबर टू बाइंड्री नंबर ओके सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज डेसिमल नंबर एंड वॉट इज बाइंड्री नंबर द नंबर विच वी यूज इन आर डेली लाइफ दैट इज कॉल्ड डेसिमल नंबर एंड बाइंड्री नंबर इज यूज बाई द कंप्यूटर ओके एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ डेसिमल नंबर टू बाइंड्री नंबर देर इज अ सेपरेट वीडियो आई हैव मेड फॉर यू ऑल The link will be given in the description box to you all. Okay, so let's see how can we make a Java program based on this. For that, let's start Notepad. Let's open an old program. Let's copy first few lines. Okay, so what we are going to do, we will take one input from user and we will convert that number into binary number. Okay, to the equivalent binary number and we will display that. So. let's declare some variables let's see how many variables that we need to have in this program we need n for storing the number accepted by the user so we will type int n okay now next variable will be r that will store the remainder then we will declare one long type of variable because sometimes what happens when we convert a decimal into binary the number of digits are more in binary number so that's why we are taking it long here long b b for storing the binary number that will be the output of our program okay now let's give a proper message to the user where we will say that enter the decimal number let's keep the initial value of binary number that is 0 okay now <coughs> i will remove the last two lines that is uh, for the two input we need to have only one input so we will uh, remove that and we will give the message here enter the decimal number okay so let's give the message enter the decimal number after this what we are going to do we will run a for loop okay and in for loop we will run the loop until the value of the number is greater than 0 okay so let's do that let's start the body of the loop okay after giving the condition while n is greater than 0 means that loop will run till the value of n is more than 0 then what we have to do as we know that to convert a decimal number to binary we divide it by 2 okay and then what remainder comes again we continue the division work so what we are going to write n module 2 means when the number is divided by 2 what will be remainder that will be stored in r okay then what we need to do we have to divide the number by 2 that is n is equal to n divided by 2 let's write by using the shorthand operator that is n divided equal to 2 okay let's see what will be the next step now after dividing uh, whatever the remainder we have got that needs to be stored in the number b that is binary number for that what we are going to do we will write b equal to b plus that is b plus equal to and what the remainder is the remainder is r that we have got after the modulus work okay then we will multiply it okay so we need a variable here that we are going to declare let's declare here int i and let's keep initial value as 1 because you know every time one place will be increased okay one for one place we will multiply by 10 for that let's do here r into i okay we will do what r into i and every time what we are going to do we will increase the value of i by 10 times so i is equal to i into 10 in this way what will happen when the loop closes we will get the binary number okay now what we are going to do we will write here the message the output message okay the output has come in the variable b that is of long type so we are going to write here what we will write the message the binary value of so we want to display the number also but already number is decreased so we will declare an extra variable t and we will store the value of n before the loop only and we will write here binary value of of what and that is that is t okay so binary value of t because t is storing what t is storing the inputted value and then after we will give a space we will put equal to sign and where the binary converted number is stored that is stored in a variable b so we will write there concatenation operator and b okay so in this way uh, the output work is over let's close the main function let's close the class okay because our program is ready 
after closing it we will update the name of the class because it's old we will write the class name here convert let's give the name convert and let's go to file and save option and let's write the name convert.java let's go to save as type let's write there all files click on save button your program will be saved okay now it's time to compile and execute the program let's go to command prompt already we are inside the java program folder let's compile the program java c convert.java then java convert enter the number 5 what is the answer 101 in this way you can enter any other value and you can check whether the answer is coming correct or not like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification